what's up guys so we all know the splint in thalassemia might enlarge over time regardless how old the patient is it might be caused due to the patient itself normally kept their hemoglobin too low over a long period of time typically before transition when their hemoglobin is low the split other than the bone marrow work too hard to try to produce and sustain its hemoglobin ability for its uh, overall body functions in the consequences the split or bone marrow might enlarge over time so during your doctor consultations your doctor will at the same time feel your spleen whether it's enlarged and that's it about every few months when you visit the doctor the doctor will at the same time test because uh, normally the patient won't enlarge suddenly unless they have like symptoms of enlargement and the doctor will know in advance uh, whether your spleen is getting bigger but uh, this morning, I just know that uh, a friend of mine, she's a Malaysian tell patient, tell major, yes, that's what. But she's saying, I thought it's like doctor consultation where they spill your splits. But she mentions she has to undergo an ultrasound for the splint to, see, to detect whether the splint is enlarged every six months, once every six months. So it's twice a year. Uh, the ultrasound is similar like the uh, the issue, not the, the ultrasound for the heart, but it's just the, the stomach area to detect the uh, splint, whether it's enlarged. So the procedure is uh, basically they will apply the kind of like screaming cream, then later they will put the, the item, the kind of equipment over the cream and rub it against the area that need to be detected. And the when the equipment is rubbed against the, the cream, they can detect the, the inner organ uh, whether to observe the inner organs that need to be observed in this first place to see whether it's enlarged or have some symptoms of enlargement maybe or anything is wrong with that organ. So I do not know your country have this type of uh, what they call it, ultrasound for the splints. I've gone through for the heart but I first time heard of for the splint, I was surprised on that because last time I have the, uh, the a little heart enlargement might be due to iron overload or some kind of you know what heart disease. But now I then continue with the medication. Now I completely stopped for I think a year plus ago already the detoxing. I think it's like extra heart beat, uh, extra heart rhythm or something. Yeah, but uh, that's quite common it's not like rare issue now they even have like uh, I think a, a cure for that recently the, I think it's some sort of the heart center invent a cure for the like heart rhythm I'm not sure but I can visit the national heart center uh, in Singapore for the, their website so and their Facebook page so that's about it just to share with you on that so hope you have a nice day